Hello YouTube. As you can see, I've dismantled a lot of the parts out of this thing because I had an idea. Screws. If you work with computers and you have a dead laptop, harvest the screws out of it. These could be useful. Very useful. Now, I was just taking out the processor heatsink and I noticed that the grease was white. Look at that. There's the Celeron processor right there. The grease got all over there somehow. That's kind of disgusting which I'm guessing is a bad thing. I really don't know. Either way, this grease is white. Is that weird or what? <laughs> is that normal or is it not? I just, that's just a question I have. Because the only gre processor grease I've ever seen is usually silver. You know, like a silvery or a gray color. But yeah. Look at that. There's the voltage regulator capacitors right there. The four ones right there. Look at that. But yeah, this is the reason I'm dismantling this thing for all the screws because I need screws badly. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, you can just harvest the screws out of some things. It's nice. Here's the uh, CMOS battery. It's just a, a it's a Panasonic battery in a, in a uh, IBM computer. So you have, it's a lithium battery. It's pretty much dead in the water. Let's see, I got the keyboard out and bent it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and the keys are falling off and stuff. There's the speaker grill. Here's the thing that went on the front. Look at these speakers, they're pathetic. They're so small. And this is the one that sounded like shit this particular one, which appears to have a torn cone. Yeah, the cone is not completely on. Huh. We have the heat sinks and all that stuff forever for the graphics. Now the graphics chip in this thing is so small. There it is right there. Look at that. It's so tiny. There's the graphics chip. Yeah. It's so small. Um, I got the floppy drive out. <laughs> it was in this little enclosure here, too. So I could get the screws out of that. And the ones out of the side here. A lot of screws to get out of these things. So my advice to you is dismantle these. There's lots of treasures inside. Mostly screws. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd show you that. And, of course, this mess right here. So... All right, I've gotten to the point where I can flip the board over, and I lied about the graphics card earlier. This is the graphics chip. Rage Mobility M. ATI. There it is. Wow. There's the chipset. Chip right there. And then on the other side, we still have that seller on, so, yeah. I just noticed something else. If you take a look at the chipset thing, you notice how it's all discolored right here. That doesn't look good to me. And the same with the gra with the graphics chip especially. Look at that. That's that's weird. It's like melted the plastic slightly warped and melted a little bit. This is just discolored. It looks like somebody spilled something on it, but nobody could have because, you know, it's in there. Huh. That's really strange. Also, PCI bus. Yay. <laughs> Heat sink. The heat sink has a tiny, tiny, tiny fan in it. Look at that. It's so small. There's the white grease, too. Yeah, this computer's uh, done for. Mm hmm. I think I've harvested all I can harvest out of it. So I'm going to take these parts, put them in bags, take the, re take the board and the case, and chuck them. So. The autopsy is complete. This looks like part of the problem here. Heat issues. I don't see any blown capacitors or blown chips or anything other than these discolored chips here. Doesn't look good to me. And the fact that the grease is off of the actual um, part of the processor with all the transistors in it doesn't 
uh, look good to me either. So it could have been a number of things. Either way, it wasn't powering on, and I don't want to fix this thing. So I'm chucking it. Bye-bye. So, yep. That's, uh, that's an autopsy of this computer for you. Hope you all enjoyed. So, yeah. Dead computer. Do what you can with it. Harvest screws, parts, whatever you can. Not every part here I'm going to keep, but still, the screws are definitely vital. There's all the spare IBM parts that I don't need. All the, the, the motherboard, all the other stuff. Bye-bye. All right, this is what I've done with the extra parts. I have the bag of screws. I have a bag with the RAM in it because I know the RAM is still good because it definitely worked last time I used it. And here's just miscellaneous parts, the motor module card, the, the crappy one-watt speakers, <laughs> the uh, CD drive, which is still good, the floppy drive, which is still good. And I have these in separate bags because magnets, magnets, magnets don't work well with chips. So, yeah. I kept the hard drive because this hard drive I can put in an enclosure. There's the keyboard, which I'll probably keep as a souvenir. <laughs> this power adapter. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know, maybe V West Life. Maybe you need an extra <laughs> IBM charger. Just as a thought, I don't know. Sansui, you might need one. Anybody who needs a ThinkPad charger, you can have this one. Because I don't need it anymore. Because I don't have a ThinkPad anymore. As you saw, as I just threw the guts of it into the garbage. Anyway. Yeah. I'm either going to give this to a YouTuber or a Craigslist it. Because I don't want it anymore. I don't need it anymore. It's pretty much useless to me. So... I'm leaning towards V Westlife if you want one of these, just in case one dies. <laughs> I don't know, because I know you have a ton of ThinkPads lying around, at least from the look of your videos. But yeah, that's the aftermath of a computer death. Oh, 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 oh. And it will be that computer, which is right here, will be replaced by this netbook, the Dell Mini 10. Just 10, not 10V, the 10 which is much faster and much more reliable machine anyway. <clears throat> As you can tell. The now, the problem that happened with the IBM ThinkPad is that something in the electronics went awry because it wouldn't power up at all. At all. It would not turn on. As in, it would not go into the... And normally when there's a hardware problem, it will go into the BIOS and go, Oh, shit, something's broken. You know? But this time, it didn't do that. It just flat out didn't power on. Even when I tried it with just the battery, it didn't do it. So it's not the power adapter. The power adapter still works. The computer is just dead. Dead in the water. It's a shame, but it happens to old technology. It was a 10-year-old computer. What else would you expect? That is how to make the best out of a bad situation. A dead computer. Harvest the parts you can, like the screws and all that stuff, and throw the guts out. Or sell them if they're still good. There you go. That's the de that's the autopsy and the dismantling and the harvesting of stuff from the uh, IBM ThinkPad A21e. Have a good one, everybody. Cha 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 cha. -cha.